today's the day that I'm getting a laser hair removal. This is gonna be exciting. I'm not scared, actually, like, or... Well, then I get all excited. I'm like, Jojo, the idiot circus boy. You know, because they said, like, it might be somewhat uncomfortable, the sensation or the feeling they're saying it. And I just found out, this is very, very <laughs> inconvenient for me. Turns out, because I thought, like, you don't have to shave before that laser hair removal. Turns out you do. So I'm gonna trim up a little bit quickly because like I have to leave like very soon and I just realized I'm like oh th this could be a great video so I decided <laughs> that we're gonna do but I'm gonna post this on the main channel anyway so that's a little introduction so it says that like it's gonna take about like 45 minutes or so or maybe an hour because I'm doing my legs and I'm gonna show you guys uh, videos of my leg now because it is pretty hairy hair is everything touch it like if you are Middle Eastern, Eastern European or European, you know, Italians, Russians, like, you know, like we are not like, I feel like some people even have back hair. Thank God I don't have that. And my chest hair so far is like, it's on a minimal basis. Like I feel like it's controllable, but like my legs are just like out of control. And I just feel like this might be a cool experience. I'm doing this for a brand deal. So it will be up on Instagram. I will post about it. And I think it's only one session. So I'm curious to see how this will go. And hopefully maybe it goes well so I can get the permanent one. So I'm not sure what will happen from one session. But I want to just share my whole experience about what's going to be and how it will be. And what are some of the things to consider if you are uh, thinking about getting a laser hair removal. And if it is worth the price. Guys, so this is what the update is on my legs. I just trimmed it. I didn't shave it. So this is what they look like right now. Oh my god, my legs. This like, I have like scars. <laughs> I have been an athlete for too long. I'm coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. And these never seem to go away. So I don't think it's going to be super big difference after the laser hair removal. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like right now. Okay, so currently getting ready and so a couple things I just remembered that I want to mention here is that like so if you after the removal process uh, you need to make sure that you don't go to like you don't go to the gym or something it's mostly because like sweating or sauna steam uh, anything hot or anything cold to be honest my really like make your skin more sensitive so it's not recommended I feel like you can totally do it but I just feel like you need to protect your skin because it's like dealing with your hair follicles so that's one thing i just remembered from like all the research i was doing and looking at it so i'm gonna skip the gym today so i won't do anything like that also don't get it exposed to the sun also before the process i try to exfoliate a little bit so i use the scrub so if you don't put a moisturizer or anything like that on your skin because it needs to be just itself so that the laser can penetrate deeply and so that your hair follicles the roots don't get you know get all the laser so that you have less hair in the future so if that makes sense i will definitely keep you guys posted more and now i have to head out because i'm gonna be late you guys need a much better angle so this is what it looks like right now she put this gel and stuff yeah this is from the razor because she was nice so she tried to shave for me and she did but Knowing my skin, it's not great, so it has started bleeding, so that's what's happening. <sighs> okay, back to what I was saying. So, you need to make sure you shave, so that's gonna be uh, very, very <laughs> crucial, because she was nice, so she did it for me, but I don't think everyone would do it, so would recommend shaving it beforehand, so first it will save time, and it will just be not like this. So anyway, so a couple other things she mentioned is that like, so after this, because it's just one session, which most people do on multiple sessions, but you know, this is just my, for brand deal. So this is my first time trying it. But she told me that don't try like hot showers, sauna, steam, something like that, because your skin and also apply a lot of SPF and also stay away from sun. <laughs> So she said like for 10 days or something, stay away from the sunlight because your skin needs to be adjusted. So I'll put some clips from my phone. I took a bunch of it. And if you guys wanna see definitely more, I will post on my Instagram as well. I'm not sure which video will come first, but 
maybe that one will come first but yeah so it was definitely an experience but I have to be honest because I have a high pain tolerance so it wasn't as bad again in my toes I definitely felt it like I was feeling it <laughs> while I was recording but Overall, not a bad experience. I will keep you guys posted in this week to see what is happening, but so far this is the experience. Hey guys, so it's been officially 48 hours uh, after this laser hair removal and I noticed a few things um, Actually, I think so far one thing, but I feel like there are a couple things that I will notice then I'll record it It will be like vlog style slash journal and hopefully my editor will like make them in the phases so Whoever wants to get laser hair removal will have better. Uh, I don't know review from this anyway, so since it's been 48 hours and you know, I didn't uh, go to the gym, I didn't do sauna, steam, anything like that. I took a shower, but it was very, like not even lukewarm, almost kind of like a little bit cold. You don't have to, just don't take a super hot shower or hot shower at all, because you don't want your skin to be burned. And also I didn't really go outside so much. And a couple times when I went outside, I was just wearing pants, so I don't have to put SPF, but you don't want your skin to be exposed to the sunlight. But other thing I noticed, which I want to show you guys now, is that like little bit red spots, or not like red, it's in the in a way like red spots, like not necessarily redness. You know when your skin gets red and it's like the entire skin? This one is essentially like you see like blobs of redness, which is normal apparently because I looked it up and like it's kind of like the healing process because laser is essentially burning those hair follicles, I guess. So it gets that and your body has to heal. So I'm gonna show you guys now. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, let me just see, because I'm trying to, yeah, right here. So you guys see, there's like this blob of red stuff, like red, 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 it, like it's not bad, but just like, you can tell, let me see if you can tell from here, because look, like I didn't have anything from, uh, th there's no laser here, because it's like, goes into like, I guess, pubic hair, but here, you can see there's like, some sort of spots yeah you can see better here so this is normal it's just a process of healing i just want to show you guys that okay so today is i don't know day five or four very close to a week so this is the update so far like i feel like at this point i would be a lot more i would still i would have more hair but it's like getting like slightly growing for sure but it's not as much as before and redness is completely gone like from before so it's definitely like growing like you can definitely see the hair <laughs> but it is growing slowly because i'm telling you at this point i would definitely have more hair like it's definitely growing but i feel like it's growing in the slow pace which i like but i'm gonna conclude this video in like a few more days so it will be like a week so you guys can see um how much it has affected overall in a week so and uh, we'll let you guys know if anything changed all right guys so it is time to conclude this video and it's been officially a week now and i'm just going to show you guys one more time my legs to see if you see any major difference honestly it looks very similar in the aspect of i showed you guys on like day four or five it is still growing but it's not as strong uh, in the process of growing because usually I would grow my hair would grow a lot faster these days generally just from shaving or trimming so I'm honestly confused like I don't know if it would be it's because like it's shaved some of it that's why it's taking longer or it's because of laser honestly not sure <laughs> but all I just can tell you is that like from one session don't have high expectations you definitely have to have multiple sessions and they give you they tell you generally like between every four weeks or every eight weeks depending on what you want to pick but generally every every four weeks you can get another session so your body will have time to heal and everything but let me show you guys that and that's gonna wrap up the video and um if you guys want to hear you know more about this experience i'll definitely try more and let me know if you guys like it as you guys see there hasn't been much different to be honest it looks 
very much the same like the few days ago so that's the last update and <laughs> I think I will just end the vlog here and uh, I hope you guys like this video I'll put the link down below from the place that I did the laser but you guys don't have to check it out you can check anywhere else that is close to you but that's just the place that I am be working with for Instagram so if you're gonna use my coupon you can use Merch 50 actually you can save $50 on your sessions so yeah I'll see you guys next week in another video okay.